Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm playing against GM CPE with a quite a high rating. So I hope to play well in this game. It's quite important for our general task of crossing certain rating. So I have a feeling he won't give me a break to check who he is. Check. We're following main line of the Vienna so far. Now h4 is usually... Uh, sorry, the bishop is hanging so here. Now I always forget which square to put my queen, so I need to concentrate. If queen a5, I think there's bishop b5. Ah, oh, there's knight b5, that was very unpleasant. So I think it's queen b4. Then check, knight d7, take, yeah, makes sense. Also, if knight d7 after queen a5, bishop b5 check, knight d7, he can take on c8, take on d7, knight b3 check. It was in the game Gupta versus, no, someone versus Gupta, another Indian, and I uh, forgot his name, maybe Gopal. Um, and he didn't find it. Knight b5 after queen a5 is also better for white, I think. So, yeah, this is the main move, no, but usually they go bishop b5 check first, so my memory fails me at the moment, can't really remember, so knight d7 looks premature, because he didn't provoke it with bishop to b5, so I can go either with a6, but then again, he doesn't spend the tempo with the bishop. So probably bishop d7 followed by knight c6 would be a good choice. That's my intuition at least. Let's see who we are playing with. An anonymous player from Germany. Well, I can't guess this uh, initials. Doesn't ring a bell. Queen d6 looks like the most active way to play I don't think I have much better choices don't want to allow rook b7 too easily knight b5 looks principal now and then I have to find a great move mm -hmm. Queen d1, rook d1, knight f uh -huh. What does he want if I go knight e5? Maybe knight b5. Not so easy for me. So I think queen h2 should make sense. At this point, to run away. It reminds me of the game Anand versus Kramnik. Somehow, but I can't really tell how it went. Probably there there was a pawn on h5 and it, it was part of the main line of bishop b5 check so it's completely different from this. So this main threat is to take here of course but also knight to d6 check. If I go knight e5 he can get rook h3 in. So first check. I'll check and exchange queens. This looks fairly good for me. I think it's forced. Can I go get away with queen h4? Wow. Actually, it's too dangerous. If I take an e5, I don't see a big way for him to punish me. And I'm a pawn up. So, knight e5, attacking this rook, threatening some capture here or bishop b5 related ideas. Yeah, my position shouldn't be worse with a pawn up and some threats. So what's his idea? I would probably play rook back to d2. But then bishop... Uh, knight c7 might be an idea, but then again, I move, I take, I take on d3. I'm gonna remain a pawn up with a better position. And if I win this game, maybe finally we'll get close enough to cross 2500 after all this time. I hope uh, I get used to playing while commentating and 
actually start crossing uh, further barriers as quickly as I can. Okay, now King e7, f4, we should be fine. Not so easy. So he has some threat. If I take, he wants to take on d7. Can go rook d8. I don't see why not. I don't see any reason I should avoid it. So yeah, let's do it. Ah, 96, knight b7. Come on. Shouldn't miss such easy ideas. Probably should have played bishop c6, perhaps. Who knows? As one of, as my captain from the French team once said, too late to apologize. So here, if I take on c4, it looks good for me actually. Knight d8, rook d8, he cannot take on c4 in a convenient way. Okay, I have to try. I get some material. Bishop b5, that looks really, really good for me. The pawn end game. Oh, the pawn end game, man. <laughs> uh, I don't, not a pawn up anymore. And my pawn structure. I might be even lost. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? Okay, let's focus. Bishop c4 and f5 takes takes. Fucking d2. Come on, what have I done? Yeah. I have to enter this. I was sure I will get some material. I don't have a convenient way to continue. Oh man, such a pity. I didn't try to make a draw somehow. Thanks, thanks. This king is gonna be more active. Come on. Oh, such a pity. Have to try. G4 is a huge idea for my opponent. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I can even prevent it somehow. Yeah. That's a bit too much. Okay, I have to go f5 to avoid g4 related ideas. And hope for the best. So now I'm going to bullet mode. Looks completely lost, but... Well, f3 or g3. I can just resign, probably. But I'll try to go f6. Then maybe king c6. And wait. He has two, ten, two reserve tempi. Okay, he gave up something. So if I go e6, he goes here. Oh man, this is lost. It might be. Okay, I have to try. Time warning. Check. Might be a draw, might be not. Might be. Okay, now go to c5 into d5 forever, it's just a fortress. Okay, you can try to win, of course, but I don't think you will. Okay, I made it somehow. By a miracle. Wow. Was so lost. I'm sure he made a mistake in the opponent game somewhere, but okay, let's go through the game. So check, check. we follow mainline theory, and d h4 is a move I'm not familiar with. Usually they give a check. Now I can go either knight d7 or king e7. Some force draws are uh, usually played there. h4, knight b5. Um, shouldn't be so good for white. Let me have a look. So, maybe five. Yeah. I don't know why computer likes white so much. Maybe I have to go to a five. 
Yeah, I guess I was wrong once again. Yeah. And here king e7. No, there's rook c7 or e5. Also knight f5 I remember is a very dangerous idea. I don't know. Might be the fourth draw that I was thinking about. Yeah. No, sorry. Uh, actually, this is the line that I that I need to play. So maybe queen b4 is the inaccurate move because of knight b5. So I remember the right punishment, but not uh, the right uh, sin, let's say. Yeah. Bishop b5 check is here. Not very convincing, but there was knight f5 idea somewhere. So this looks like the main line actually. So here knight b5 is a good punishment for queen b4. Should go to a5. And yeah. check and now I'm forced to play king e7. But then e5. No, this is the fourth draw once again. Okay. So I have to check it later, but basically there's knight f5 related idea that is really dangerous. It's probably not here. Queen a5 is the correct move. So if queen b4, sorry, like I played knight b5 is better for white. And here, queen d6 followed by knight c6 maybe. Yeah. So queen b4 doesn't feel correct anymore. Had he started from bishop b5 check and only then went rook c1, and my knight was on d7 already, I would have had to go to b4. So it's important to note. And here bishop d7. Yeah, it's better for white, kind of. Yeah, knight c6 was a mistake. Queen d6, but it's hard to guess. Now knight b5 was much better for white. This was a mistake. Yeah, allowing this queen h2. Queen h1. Could I, I wanted to take on h4 in the game, which was completely lost after knight c7, rook d7. Obviously. <laughs> so glad I didn't think about it any longer. Yeah, and here, just rook d8 like I played. Rook c8, simply. Just keeping tension. f4, rook c4, going for this endgame and trying to play for a win. This pawn endgame that I went for, I was so proud of. But I thought I was win winning some material. And instead, I'm entering a probably lost pawn endgame. Let's have a quick look uh, at how the pawn endgame should... Uh, should turn out. I think I wanted to use this tempo to get h5 in, but maybe there is a chance for a fortress. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. So let's say I'm waiting. A classical way to play would be to bring the king over to h6, forcing my king to g8, and then pushing the pawns, uh, to, and then finally getting to the a pawn. Uh, in the right moment. However, I uh, don't know how to delete the moves. Uh, in this moment, if I do it, I'm not sure it's working because there's king c5. So the pawns are close. So let's say I'm just sticking to these squares. How can white win? He might not be able to win. Here, I have to find play e5 at some point. Yeah, this is probably a draw. So, probably after capturing in king d6, h5 allowed him to have this g4 idea. This was a mistake. The pawn belongs either in h6 or in h7. Maybe I should just try to make a fortress and it won't be easily lost. You will have to find the right way. Mm. Which might not exist. So sometimes it's best to play passively in some situations, but it's very difficult mentally to make such a decision. And this is already lost probably because g4 is coming at the right moment. e5 check. Uh, so e4, but why is e5 check? So yeah. king c4, king e6, 
Okay. Come on. I have a five coming really quickly. Okay, this is crazy. It looks like it, I'm never gonna be on time, but the idea is to actually go after this f2 pawn. To go e4 and f5? No, e4, king e2, king f2. And I'm on time by some miracle. Okay, that would have been a nice chance. And instead, a4 would just save time. Because now if I go for the same plan, then uh, he has a tempo up and it will make the difference. But here, suddenly, there is counterplay. f3, f5, I guess. King f4, even. f5, b4, check, king d6. And there's no zug zone. This is similar to the game. Put the pawns on f6 and a6 and go with the king to c6 and d6 forever. If he takes. Okay, so instead, play this, allowing e5, I play this losing move, and now you have to find some idea, so a4, provoking some f4, hopefully, and if, if I go a5 like in the game, then computer wants f4, but, oh, wait, What is the point? He just wants to get g4? I, I don't get it. Oh, now it's Tsukzvan. So when my king is on the 6th rank, he has b5 and b5 square. So g3 is just... But this was quite smart. I missed it. Completely. a4 was just winning. Now f6, a5 I have to allow. King c6 and now it's time for king e3 and we reach a winning queen endgame for white. Okay. So instead, of a4 went here and it's already a draw. Now it's a win again. King e6 saves a full tempo for free. I was afraid of king c5, but actually king e5 is much easier. Just very fast coming for his pawns. So instead, yeah, f6 was losing again. And here I... Yeah, he should have just played a3, f, a5, a4 and went for the king f4 idea and uh, keeping in mind that after f4 he has g4 yeah a3 is just the only winning move i think instead he went king e3 allowing me to get the uh, four check with a draw like in the game but instead i let him to win again with king f3 i think I allowed him to win again yeah again this winning queen in the game probably and uh, after a4, a4 check, check is just fortunately somehow is a draw. Yeah, just this fortress. You can never make progress. What a rough ride, but an interesting game nevertheless. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something from it. And of course enjoyed uh, this process of this game. Uh, and uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next video.